massive announcement for the WWE working with another company. Plus, we're going to talk about a former WWE superstar who showed up in another company. And yes, we are going to talk about some um, imminent debut that is expected to be happening on NXT television. It's all coming up right here on The Ango Show. Oh, 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 yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I want to kick things off today with some interesting news surrounding MVP. That's because he showed up at Game Changer Wrestling, GCW, Josh Barnett's Bloodsport, and he confronted Josh Barnett. Now, there was a couple teases along the way. We don't know if Bobby Lashley will also be making his way over to GCW, but we do know that MVP is interested in working for GCW and more specifically Bloodsport. And this is actually really dope. I think this is really cool. If you guys don't watch Bloodsport, but you guys are into combat sports, I think Bloodsport is a very, very fun event to watch. It actually just so happened that yesterday's GCW Bloodsport was like probably one of the best from an in-ring perspective. Uh, but also, I do want to throw out there that MVP is somebody who actually respects combat sports and the legitimacy of what blood sport is supposed to be so i think this is actually really dope he also did confirm that he's not going to be headed back to wwe and uh you know look obviously everybody's going to have their own opinion on him we know that he was managing omas we know that he did the thing with the hurt business we know that there's rumors that the hurt business might come back together and maybe go to aew obviously there's going to be a lot of talk about things that could happen here but what i want to say is this not everybody's going to work out in WWE. Not everybody's going to work out in AEW. And quite frankly, not everybody's going to work out in TNA and New Japan and GCW and all of these other companies. So again, I will reiterate for the millionth time on this channel, this is why it's so important to actually have a healthy wrestling industry. I never really get bothered when somebody leaves AEW or leaves WWE. And the, for the most part, that's because wrestling is so healthy these days where people could go to other places and do other things. And, and we have to be realistic here. MVP may not be the guy that is a young and up and comer, but MVP is somebody with a lot of life experience, a lot of professional wrestling experience. And ultimately that is what this industry needs. You got to have the vets. You got to have the guys who actually respect the craft. You got to have the guys who put in the work and may have gotten burned along the way. Yes, MVP had some great things happen in WWE, but to sit here and acknowledge, you know, if, if I didn't acknowledge that maybe Triple H could have done more with MVP and Omos or maybe MVP and Bobby Lashley, like, uh, you know, that would be unfair for me as a, as a content creator, as an analyst, right? Like, they didn't do as much as they could have. I'm not saying put the world championship on him, but I'm just saying, like, not even putting him on TV for a long time when this guy was delivering good content on TV, it is a little bit of a head scratcher. Ladies and gentlemen, WWE NXT is set to see their debuts imminently for Julia and Stephanie Vakur. We have talked a lot about them on this channel in recent months, and that is because, well, quite frankly, the NXT division keeps getting better. Now, let's talk about this because Dave Meltzer was talking that. Basically, both stars are slated to start in NXT soon. He says that Julia is on her way. He was told yesterday that it could be as early as August 19th. Uh, he was told from the Marigold side that it would be the end of August. She is currently under contract to WWE, so when WWE wants to start her, she's going. Um, we also know that Julia is expected to make an announcement at Marigold uh, tomorrow, which, well, obviously for us in Eastern time, it would be uh july 30th but yeah she's expected to make an announcement and it's coming straight from her she revealed that on twitter obviously makes sense that julia's headed to nxt wwe nxt is moving to the cw network they've beefed up this women's roster i have a very strong feeling that there's a massive change going on with nxt and i promise you guys i will get to that in, in the next part of this video but uh, Meltzer continues to say that Stephanie Vakur should also be starting immediately. Uh, she is currently free and clear. Uh, she is expected imminently within the WWE. And obviously that could happen as soon as tomorrow's episode of NXT, which is dope. I think this is the right thing to do, man. WWE obviously bringing in these free agents, obviously beefing up their women's roster, obviously changes going down in the WWE, their mentality towards signing talent their mentality towards the type of talent that they're signing. It's a good 
balance. WWE was bringing in college athletes, and guess what? They're not going to stop doing that. They're not going to. But it's important that they also bring in the talent that are experienced and also just flat out talented with a lot of growth opportunities. So I think WWE has done an excellent job, but it all ties into this massive announcement that the WWE is now part of. Booker T has a wrestling promotion, and it is called Reality of Wrestling. We have seen guys like Zilla Fatu there, and we have seen so many others, right? Booker T is responsible for so many great talent coming across his promotion. They have revealed today that WWE NXT Level Up talent will be working for Reality of Wrestling on a regular basis. Now, you might be wondering, why is this such a massive announcement? And ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to break it down for you as simple as possible. Because those who watch this channel for a very, very long time know exactly what I'm about to say. There had been rumors that WWE NXT is meant to be a developmental show. But they want to turn it into a third brand. They want it to be a mixture of developmental and main roster style of content. NXT Level Up, on the other hand, has kind of just been like this practice run for up-and-coming wrestlers before they make it to NXT. And I specifically said that I have a very strong feeling that NXT Level Up will become essentially where all the NIL talent will go first, and it's a ladder system. So they will work their way up from Level Up to NXT to Raw or SmackDown. And then obviously, hopefully, one day maybe WrestleMania. The idea that ring, uh, ring, the idea that reality of wrestling, ROW, uh, will have NXT level up talent on there is great because it gives them the opportunity to work more. It gives them the opportunity to learn about wrestling outside of the WWE perspective, which is another added benefit. But it also gives WWE the ability to utilize NXT television for your hard hitting stars. So when we talk about Julia and Stephanie Vacur coming in, when we talk about Delta Brady coming in, when we talk about all of these other people coming in, this is one of those scenarios where you're starting to realize that NXT is completely shifting. I think we are going to see WWE NXT get very, very close to what the black and gold 2019 version of NXT was. If we're looking at 2016 to 2019 NXT, those are some of the greatest times in NXT history. I feel like once 2020 came and 2021 came, the company lost its marbles, dude. So yeah, this is really dope. I think this is huge. I think they're creating a ladder system. This is going to be better for the long-term product of WWE. This is also, also going to be good for the talent in WWE and also really good for other wrestling companies. This is another working relationship that actually seems to have cemented something legit. I want to know what you guys think down below. Thank you for watching.